Hey there, so I started to get my beet greens ready and so I just have my kitchen shears and I took all of my beets and cut the greens um, off. So now my beets are looking like this. I'll be roasting these tomorrow. Um, but for now, I just wanted to show you, I had a couple other ideas for dinner. Um, I have, we have two different kinds of beets uh, in our box this week, the smaller yellow ones. And those leaves look like this, they're purely green. And then we have our bigger red beets, and those have longer stems and bigger leaves. So what I ended up doing was cutting them twice. I mean, some of the stalks are really long. So some of them I cut into two, and don't throw anything away. Even these stalks are really delicious when you pickle them. So I have rinsed all of my greens down, and what I was thinking as I was sitting here rinsing and seeing how um, each leaf is turning out to be, I think I'm going to pickle the big ones with the red stems, but these smaller ones that look more tender, I think I'm going to saute them with my winged dragon beans and garlic and olive oil and just have some of these extra greens in the sauteed beans tonight for dinner. So I just wanted to let you know um, that I was going to divide these greens into two and see how they go. Um, I decided to roast the carrots and the onions tomorrow and for now I'm keeping everything really simple. Olive oil, salt, and garlic. Um, but going forward, because I like to taste the flavor. I want to taste what this bean is like. You know, I don't want it to have some sort of orange like sauce or any of these other things, you know, with my bitter oranges and things like that. So I'm going to wait. I divided my bean ration into two. So I do have uh, another portion of beans for another day. Uh, I wanted to also remind you so I, of course, save all of my Ziploc bags. Any of my bags that I buy um, at the grocery store, <laughs> my mom, I grew, up on a, I grew up in the country. My mom basically saved everything and I'm married to a Cuban, so I have no way out around it. But I mean, I, I do buy Ziploc bags once in a while because I need a good one like for the freezer. But a lot of times, all of your bags are already Ziplocs. I mean, this is my tortilla bag that I bought for Luca a million years ago. We wash it and dry it, and it's a Ziploc bag, you know? I do this often, um, so I always have a variety of different sized bags. So when you get your box, you want to make sure that your washing everything down. Though it's organic, it still might have some dirt and stuff on it. And then going ahead and putting it in the fridge, sort of taking care of things so things don't start to wilt and get funky. Your, your Yerba Buena, your spearmint, needs to go in the refrigerator into a plastic bag as well right away. Uh, and you just want to make sure that you are getting your, your items ready um, to get cooked. So I take off the tops of the carrots, I cut off some of the tops of the onions, and all that stuff is ready to go. So, have a good night. Happy cooking. See you later.